Josh, are you there? You're frozen. I think Josh Makuga has frozen. What's up, everyone? Welcome to TV Talk, if you can hear me. It's great to see everyone. Josh is there. I think his face is frozen. I'm not sure what happened, but he is he is uh, alive and well. All is well with Josh Makuga. Uh, there's a lot to talk about today. Um, it's been a couple of weeks. There's been so many shows that have dropped and ended over the last couple of weeks. I mean, we have Curb Your Enthusiasm finale. We have the Tokyo Vice season two finale. Or sorry, Curb Your Enthusiasm series finale. Uh, the premiere of Sugar. Uh, I love that Colin Farrell is on a TV show. We get him now, and then we get him later this year as the Penguin, which is awesome. We also have We Were the Lucky Ones on Hulu. I don't know if anyone heard about that one. I've been checking that one out. A Gentleman in Moscow, low-key drop by Paramount Plus on a new show with the great Ewan McGregor. I checked that one out. I was a big fan of that one. I've also been watching Parish. Anybody check out Parish? Parish is a new show with Giancarlo Esposito. Of course, that we all know from Breaking Bad, Mandalorian, and, and many other things. That's on AMC Plus, another watchable show. Uh, Ripley on Netflix, Mary and George on Showtime, and Beacon 23 Season 2 just premiered. Josh, I'm just running through some of the new shows and returning shows that have come out over the last couple of weeks. I feel like I've watched about 10 shows okay. um, in the last week or two. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So it's like Damn. all a bunch of stuff jumbled in my head, but I'm okay. glad you're okay. I, I, I told everybody, Makuga is well. He is, he is well, alive and well. He just froze. He was frozen Le for a little while. Legit, like my internet went out as soon as we hit, I hit like go live. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, what's up, everybody? My voice, I might be back. My voice is gone. Um, I have to talk now. And then I've got to talk uh, during the national championship in about an hour or two. So let's get weird, David. Let's, let's do let's it. Do it um what show wait what shows have you seen that like i need to know about do i need to know um i think the only one i was running down the whole list of shows there's some good ones out there josh i would say for you parish for sure it, okay. it, it's like the most basic premise ever john carlo okay. esposito which is all i need to know amazing he's a retired he's an ex-con he's got a family he's got a wife and a kid his son uh well he had two kids his son passed and now of okay. course it, it, it's the classic he just did it josh it's the classic uh godfather three they pull me back in. Al Pacino quote. He he has to come back in. You know, his house is in foreclosure. All this stuff has happened. He's about to lose his business. He's he wants to be legitimate, but he can't be legitimate. Um, I mean, it's as cliche as you can get, but Giancarlo Esposito, as he always does, he elevates yeah. it, uh, okay. elevates the show. So it's a premise you've seen a million times, but sure. it's worth sure. checking out. Sure. I really sure. enjoyed it. Well, good to see everybody in chat. Uh, I think on Amazon, do I get Parish like one episode free? You, you might, you know, it's AMC Plus. I don't know. Oh, it's AMC Plus. Okay. Yeah. I think one, I one, AMC Plus for the Rick show. So I, right. I, and you were watching. I think you were watching Dark Winds for a while too. Yes. That's how you caught yeah. up with Dark Winds. Uh, That's also, coming Josh, back, right? It is. It got renewed for season three. I believe it did. Okay. Um, also, Josh, another free. Talking about free episodes. I mentioned a show called The Gentleman in Moscow. Oh. It's really good. It's old timey. It's British, but it's in Russia. It's about what's going on in Russia. Post World War One, before World oh. War Two, uh, oh. really interesting. Ewan McGregor and okay. um, uh, is, is really good in it so far. And that is the first episode, I believe, is free on oh. Apple TV. I don't think you have to have Paramount Plus to watch it, so you can watch the first episode for Paramount free. Plus. I believe. It's Paramount yeah, Plus. it's Paramount Plus though. So gotcha. yeah, there's some good shows out there. Remember when all you had to do was just turn on your TV and like the show? Yeah. Not anymore. No. Uh -uh. You got to work for it a little bit. You got to look. Yeah, yeah. Got it. it's like who knew Hugh McGregor? I'm like, oh, Hugh McGregor has a new show. I didn't know this. No this idea. From? Yeah. No idea. What's, what's Obi Wan been up to? Yeah, it's great. Um, what's up, MKS Songberg? Good to see you. Uh, Jesus Pena says American Rust, no redeemable characters. Is that the show you told me to watch in Pittsburgh? Again, I've, I've never seen it, but it's the Pittsburgh show with uh Jeff Daniels, yeah, and uh Moira Tierney. Yeah, I've never yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah. man. Well, you told me a couple weeks ago to watch it, but I think a bunch of stuff just got in the way, one of which was that. And we'll get we can talk about it a little bit, but that of Apple's Never Fall show was Apple's friggin' terrible. That show was horrendous. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, it's you it's like cheesy. That show? I, I don't know. It, it's it's like a good soap opera. I mean, it's cheesy. It is cheesy. Good soap opera. Cheesy. I've it's seen cheesy. better soap operas. Okay. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I, Michelle and I just finished it a couple days ago. I didn't hate yeah. it. What uh, did Amanda think of it? She didn't like it. Oh, she hated it. I mean, oh, we no. ate watched that show and finished it. We hate watched it and finished it. We we finished that stupid show. The whole world. 
Don't lose your voice completely, Josh. You got to save some of it for the for the tournament. <laughs> that show is like the fact that they got a net fucking Ben, excuse my yeah. language, a net yeah. friggin' Benning and Sam friggin' Neil in that show is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> like half the storylines didn't even wrap up. It just ended. It ended. It ended. It's uh, it just ended. It's done. They're like they're like, oh, our mom's dead. Our dad went to jail. Our mom was just hanging out doing karaoke with Longmire. What the fuck? <laughs> Longmire. Is that what show she was in? I've never seen her before. I was like, who is this actress? I don't know. No, no, no. Longmire was the guy. Oh, in you mean, oh I got you. Yeah, yeah. And the creepy girl I've never seen before. But give that woman an Emmy because she was the only redeemable acting performance, if you will, because she was creepy as shit. And you're like, well. She clearly kidnapped the mom. Sam Neill did something to the kidnapper. Nope, just throwing away trophies. Guys, I will spoil the shit out of this show for you right now. If you don't want to know what happens in Apples Never Fall, turn off. And Wiley OFC, thank you for the super chat. We will get to it in a second, okay? Yeah. Help support the show. We really appreciate it, okay? Super chat. I can't get to Streamlabs right now. I don't know. It won't let me sign in. So if you donate there, tell me what you donated and then put the chat in here. Okay. I'm dying over here. I sound like Millhouse and Simpsons. Or Ralph. <laughs> I sound like Ralph Wiggum. Ralph, Ralph Wiggum. Okay. Yeah. Like Ralph Wiggum. okay. <laughs> Uh, not rotten not rick Morris cannot believe the makuga's hate watch series i think dude halfway through it we're there's only seven episodes so it's fine yeah right? and it's out all at once they're not super long it's an no. easy binge even if you don't yeah. like it it's an easy binge yeah okay uh i love allison brie in one show glow okay oh and, and mad men she was good in mad men i oh, like that's great mad men, mad men yeah. too yeah. yeah she was small peace, role peace in mad men but oh. great yeah yeah mm. okay so we're on like the fourth episode and I was like, I fell asleep. Okay. Amanda watched through till six and I was wow. like, I was like, what? She's like, you'll never believe what happened. I was like, is it good? He's like, she's like, I can't believe this show got made. I was like, it's that bad. She's like, it's worse than you think. And I was like, oh, awesome. she, she hooks up with uh, Rosie with Rosenthal from masters of the air. Remember yeah, Rosie yeah. with the mustache, the redhead. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Like, the landlord is Rosie. That's Rosie. They, that's Rosenthal. They cut yeah. that dude's dick off in that show. He is not a man. He is just some bitch ass landlord. Don't do that to my Rosie. Should have never told me that. I would have never believed you. Okay. He had he had a better role in Masters of the Air for sure. Yeah. He, much dude, yeah. <laughs> apples never fall. <laughs> Put that in the pantheon of worst shows ever made with some of the greatest actors and actresses ever in the history of screen. Annette Benning might be, I mean, she just got nominated for a fucking Oscar. Yeah. An Oscar. Yeah. For Nyad, yeah. which is yeah. an amazing movie. That movie is awesome. Movie is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then she does this. It's a hoity toity rich family that I'm supposed to care about. And fucking <laughs> tennis. Tennis. That's what I'm, I'm supposed to care about. A tennis coach. No. What? And then the entire show is the dad did it. The dad did it. The dad did it. No. No, the mom just left. She just left. She just she had a moment. Left. She was having a moment, a midlife crisis. Or Which I'm anyway. guessing the point of the show, David, is to be like, hey, moms, don't leave your kids or your husband will go to jail. Or or what appreciate your moms. Appreciate your moms. Appreciate Call your, your mom, mom and if they're sure. still around for it, like tell them that you love them. Yes. Don't yes. appreciate your moms. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. David. I don't know. I, I didn't hate it. I guess because I didn't I didn't binge it either. We kind of watched it slowly over a couple of weeks. We had to watch an episode here, episode there. I don't know. It was fine. It, it didn't it didn't make me upset. David, you're better <laughs> than this. It should piss you off. I did watch a lot better. Me. There's a lot, there's a lot more folks in the chat. You do not need to watch this show. This is not a high recommendation on my list. There's other things you can watch that are better, but I don't know. It was a show for Michelle and I to watch. We don't watch all the same a lot of shows together. So that was one that I don't know. <laughs> David, you know I want to like everything, right? Like I make fun of wrestling every more because I I would want to like it. Yeah. But it's so stupid. It's so dumb. Okay. Apples never fall. Okay. There was one redeemable character. One. One of the, them. The surfer. The surfer brother. 
the bro. He was such yeah. a nice dude. He tried so hard. He like loved his dad. He didn't want to believe it. Then he sees his dad loading a body onto a boat. What was his dad doing with those trophies? No, not throwing him in the garbage. He was throwing him off a boat. Why? Why? Why do you have to throw? That's a good point. Boat? Why would you have to go into the ocean to throw away trophies? You can just go to the lo- the dump. You don't need to go to the ocean. You could literally give that, them to a goodwill. That's a waste of uh, boat fuel. It's expensive. Yeah. Get the boat out, fuel it up, get out in the ocean. It's expensive. Yeah, it's a yes. lot. That's true. That's a good point. I didn't think about you that. Could, you could take him <laughs> to a public park and put him in an oil drum. Trash can. Okay? Instead, he uses a fake ID to rent a boat to throw away trophies. What was the writer's room like then? Were they all on acid? Were they all just drunk? And being like, what if he just thrown away trophies? Ah, Peacock's paying us a million dollars. What is happening? Well, it, it is based on a book, so I'm assuming that's in the book. I would assume. I have not read this book. I will, I will not read this book. Put down books and pick up remotes. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, not Rick's Amherst. Yes, it is a rich, rich white people thing. Um, yes, they are very. But I, don't, I mean, are they rich? They're probably like upper well, middle up. class, maybe. I don't know if they're upper upper middle class. Yeah, I mean, they, they live in West Palm Beach. I mean, they don't have beach. Well, the the son is rich. The guy who looks like Dexter. Yeah, he's he's pretty rich. Yeah. Um, yeah, we we can forget that one. Don't need to watch that. Don't need to watch that one. I'm sorry. I didn't mind it. First ten minutes of the show on this. It, it's not going to make my my top ten. <clears throat> not even my top ten. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Josh, I want to get to a little news before we go into all of the shows uh, that we watched. A um, couple of little housekeeping over the last couple of weeks uh, in a little bit of in memoriam. Uh, uh, I was really sad hearing about Chance Perdomo pass. Young guy, um, 27 years old. He was in Gen V, Josh. I know you watched a few episodes of Gen V. Yeah. Um, just way too young. I, I, you know, I work for Amazon, as some of you know. I got to do a little bit of work, not with him personally, but with the the, the Gen V cast and the boys cast. So they're all really just... Seem like a tight knit group of people, you know. They seem like to really enjoy working with each other. Seem like a great group. So I was just at 27 years old, way How too young. Not? Mo- motorcycle accident, and just oh. like it seems like it was a solo thing. You know, it wasn't like he got in a wreck with someone else. It just, you know, just happens. You know, just just sad. Um, so, 27 years old, just just way too young. Um, a little bit more kind of a lesson too. Just yeah. can we yeah. end motorcycles? Can they just be done? Yeah, it's. It's uh, just 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 way too young. His, his career is on the rise. I mean, he's just getting started. They're filming season two of. Yeah, it's just sad. Anyway, I mean, on a little bit more, it, not that ever death is acceptable or, or, or happy, but Lewis Gossett Jr., a very esteemed esteemed life, eighty seven yeah. years old, passed. He was eighty seven years old. Uh, he won. This is TV talk. So talk about an Emmy that he won for his performance in Roots. Roots is one of like the most. Uh, it was very a, a personal show for me. My mom, I was very young when it came. I was not even born yet. But when it would re-air on TV, uh, my mom would show it to me. She wanted me to see, like, you know, the slave trade and how all that happened and wanted me to experience that history. So I watched that as a little kid. Um, so I remember Lewis Gossett Jr. very fondly as Fiddler. Um, uh, I believe he also won an Academy Award Oscar for his performance in An Officer and a Gentleman. Um, oh. With a uh, co-star with uh, Richard Gere. And uh, I think that was... I don't know when that came out, but that was back in the day. Uh, but another classic, another great film. So it's just sad, a little bit in memoriam. I mean, Chance's passing is much more uh, tragic as uh, Lewis was 87 years old and had a very uh, esteemed life. So uh, sad to Lewis see those Cousin, two go. But yeah. Lewis Cosa Jr. in the 80s was an absolute legend. 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 Yeah, yeah, legend. Yeah. Um, okay. Wiley OFC. Let's get to his super chat real quick. Yes, yes. Trying to catch up on shows by, stre- by streaming service. First up is Netflix and just finished The Crown. David. Great, but boring at parts. Now on to you. It's Wiley. not boring. It's deliberately paced. Boom. It's all the deli- no. It, it no. Wiley, you're yes. It, it is a lot of head talking. No, There's not no. a lot. Um, it, it it can't it can be slow. I, I'll admit that. That's true. Uh, um, Jeremy Miller uh, brings up a pretty solid point. How was Apple's Never Fall not on Apple TV? It's right there. I'll Ooh. tell you why. Because Apple puts out good fucking programming. They would have never greenlit that pile of garbage. Yeah. It's garbage. It's hot garbage. If you think I don't like wrestling, I don't like Apple's Never Fall a billion times more than I don't like wrestling. And that is saying something. Sorry, that's, David. Go on. No, 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 no. That's true. Um, but I'm glad you watched uh, The Crown. Uh, my wife, is. It, it, she loves you. I believe season five is coming out soon. They just you? been cranking those out. Yeah. Uh, my wife, I kind of watch over her shoulder and kind of peep in every now and then, but I haven't had a chance to check it out all the way, but people seem to be addicted to it. Oh, so I live in, 
be too specific. I live in the Glendora, California, San Dimas area, which is a suburb Gorgeous. outside of uh, about 20 minutes east of Pasadena, if you're familiar with uh, Southern California. Gorgeous. And there is a famous uh, donut shop here that has a jelly or you know fruit filled donuts. It's very famous. So it was funny. My wife was watching an episode of You. And they mentioned like hey, these people are in L.A. somewhere and like, you know, in the, in the epicenter of L.A. And they're like, we're going to Glendora. We're getting some donuts. And like they went out to that restaurant. I'm like, oh, they're going because Glendora compared to L.A. is a small town. It's the suburb. No one really talks about it. But they go to that. Donut, there's a famous donut shop. They go there. So anyway, if you're watching you, that might be season two or season three. Spoiler. Uh, look out for a donut shop. And if you're ever in the Glendora, California area, uh, get yourself some uh, some donuts. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it called? Yeah. Glen Dornuts or Glen no, Donuts? Oh, I can't remember. I, I, I it, it's not to be honest. Jelly filled and cream filled aren't my favorite donut. I don't really I like a lot of fruit in my donut. I had one. It's just a lot. Um, yeah. it's just yeah. not. I, I like like a simple. I like an old fashioned. Ooh, I like a glaze. Fine. I like oh, yeah. you go to Krispy Kreme and they come. They got to be fresh out of the oven. If oh, they're fresh boy. out of the oven, I'm yeah. all for it. But yeah. it's called the the Donut Man. I'm pretty sure it's the Donut Man. It's not yeah. Glen Donuts or Glen Donuts. No, or... it's called the it's called the Donut Man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So anyway, that's just a little side rant. Sorry about that. Yeah. Gotcha. No, no, no. Uh, I I watched. I think I watched like the first two episodes of the first season when it was on like what CW or something like that. What was the first you? It was wasn't you. On... You was, was on. It, really? it might have been. I don't remember. I thought it was always Netflix. MKS Songbird. Where was the first season of you? I don't think it was Netflix. Yeah, maybe they. Maybe you're right. I just don't remember. Lifetime, thank you, Bia. It was Lifetime. It was, it was oh, lifetime. it's crazy, yeah. and it, it's 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 crazy that they couldn't make it. It's a hit on Netflix. Yeah, I know, it. I know. It's huge. Well, Lifetime. I mean, yeah, I think that show finds an audience on Netflix that it won't find on Lifetime. That's no. skewed towards a young audience. My mom's generation is not watching that. I no, mean, that's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, Josh, next thing I want to hit real quick is the Punisher. John Bernthal is back. That picture. Uh, great picture of him. I think they're in. They're filming in Brooklyn right now for uh, Daredevil: Born Again coming out on Disney Plus sometime in the future. Yeah. Um, but um, that was really cool. He looks. I mean, Bernthal. I feel like he hasn't aged. He looks the same. So good. Those pictures of him. He looks fantastic. I, I have know, a question. I do you think uh, he will have? Do you think the Punisher would be better if he had that awful Baltimore accent he had in, in that Baltimore cop show? His accent was good. It was Baltimore. It was What's amazing. What's going on, guys? What are you Moving doing? On. <laughs> Moving on, guys. Um, yeah, no, I. Uh, the Punisher, and it's not close. Is my favorite Marvel proper. Okay. 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 In general, that they like in the visual form. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm not a comic book reader. Right. I've never ingested the graphic novels of anything like that. I'm just going by TV shows and movies. And yeah. of all of them, my favorite Marvel movie of all time is the first Ant Man. And my favorite, uh, you hate me all you want, whatever. Uh, and then my favorite property in general is the Punisher series. Okay. I loved every second of Frank Castle. I thought he was just awesome. I loved him in the Daredevil seasons. Um, I liked the Daredevil like seasons one and two a lot. I think they, they were like, they set the bar and then everything else kind of faltered up until then, except for like a few episodes of Luke Cage and a few episodes of uh, Jessica Jones. Was that the other one? Yes, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. Don't forget about Iron, the immortal Iron Fist. Probably Don't my least favorite. Definitely Don't my least. Yeah. That was that show wouldn't get greenlit on the CW. Yes, that's like the apples never fall of Marvel. Yes, um, but uh, but uh, man, sign me up for more Punisher. I that's appointment viewing. I can't wait. I'm so so excited. Josh, I was gonna say one of the things I'm most excited to talk to you about today, and I didn't even know this existed or was coming out. Josh, yeah. there is later this year on Peacock, another of the many streaming services. There is a Gladiator series coming out with the great Anthony Hopkins titled those about to die. Remember like in gladiator when they, 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 they like, we salute you those about. Yeah. So the show is called those about to die. Anthony Hopkins plays the rule of the Caesar, I believe at the time, I'm not sure. I can't remember what his name is, but it looks that they, they had, they released a short teaser. They don't really show much of the show. It's yeah. more Hopkins speaking. They show like glimpses of the cast and all that, but it looks like, Spartacus that we saw on stars yeah. that stars. Oh, I, I love that show. And it looks just like that, but you have Anthony Hopkins. I'm like, wait, he's doing a gladiator show. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Roland Emmerich. Thank you, Jeremy Miller from Roland Emmerich. Yeah. 
So you get, you know, Roland Emmerich from Independence Day, yeah, yeah. all those disaster movies, uh, is doing Which a are, gladiator. That me, that's my audience. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. What uh? What do we? Who's like the main gladiator? Any like a big name for the main I, gladiator? I don't reckon. I'm my Roman history is. I mean, I watched HBO's Rome's one of my favorite shows, but outside yeah. of of that, I'm not familiar. So I was looking at the cast. None of them, even the emperor's name, who Popkins is playing, didn't pop out to me. Okay. So I, I I I need to look it up a little bit more. But looks you cool. Know who would be awesome cool. in um in the role of uh, the gladiator? Who? Friggin' Rosie, from uh, Ooh, Rosenthal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, I feel yeah. like bulked up a bit, but like, yeah, that's a man right there. Like, don't yeah. mess with me. Roman. You know, he's got the he's got some curly hair. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sign me up. Uh, MK Songbird is developed by Robert Redat, who wrote Saving Private Ryan. There you okay. go. Yeah, right. but like, uh, the, you see some brief, brief glimpses, some visuals, and it looks like it looks like Spartacus, like that style okay. that, like, not slow mo, but it just it has that stylistic feel, like the fights are going to be over the top and all that just bombastic nature. So, I'm it looks great. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I, that, that is a sign me up show. As long as Austin Butler's not in it talking like Elvis. No, there's no, there's no, yeah. Austin. no. I mean, Gladiator is often lost in the pantheon, no pun intended, of amazing movies. Okay. Yes. Like nobody ever brings it up and like, oh, you know, my favorite movie is Gladiator. Nobody ever says that. It's like, oh, Shawshank, this. I mean, I mean like, people have their favorite movies. Right. Gladiator's rarely brought up. I would put Gladiator in my top five of like dramatic oh, movies. Oh, yeah. man. I love so Gladiator. And we're getting a Gladiator 2 with Denzel. Denzel. <laughs> they're, they're, they're already filming. It's, it's uh, Pedro Pascal. I, I, I think right now in uh, Vegas, CinemaCon's going on right now. And I believe they're going to show some scenes at CinemaCon. They've, they've been filming for a long time. It's okay. Ridley Scott is coming back to direct. What about uh, Denzel's son in the show? He's good. Ooh. He's oh, good. yeah. John David Washington. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe he's cast. I was looking through the cast. The name that popped out to me was Hopkins, of course. But yeah, I'm, I'm down. Like, oh, you know, well, he's kind of a movie star. I would say like Taron Edgerton might be a good gladiator. Ooh. He keeps doing Apple stuff. He's doing like another Apple thing. I think Apple just has Edgerton locked down. They're like, we're just, we're just going to make all your shows and movies. You just stay at Apple. We'll just take Locking care of you. Locking down. Kid yeah. can act. He's, He's an actor. good. What, what did we watch? Uh, was it Blackbird or Bird oh, Song? Blackbird is awesome. Blackbird. And then you saw the, the Tetris movie he was in. Tetris movie was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. I like him. Like, that movie had no business being that good. It was freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Josh, a show you probably could care less about, but I feel like I should mention is there was a trailer release for Tales of the Empire on Disney Plus. It is an animated Star Wars show. Okay. So, um, but that's coming out in May. I think it's on May the fourth. May okay. the fourth, only on Disney hey, Plus. Is, it's, it's yeah. So is Bad Batch? Is that animated? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Bad Batch. Yeah, it, it's an offshoot of the Clone Wars uh, and God. Rebels series. You know, Dave yeah. Filoni's universe. Yeah, and that's okay. that's ending. I think they're on their final season right now so that's okay. ending and then so this is something new get some short so star wars rolls on more star I mean, wars on the way the, i mean people ingest those star wars animated shows oh I mean, yeah. They, yeah you know uh jeremy or ben wellington says uh taron edgerton for wolverine tetris is great i could see taron edgerton yeah. for wolverine can't yeah. we retire the x-men though okay it's not over can we just retire that for a um, while I mean, we have Deadpool three is coming out. We got Hugh yeah, Jackson. Yeah, I'm talking coming. like once that's over, and like maybe we get another Deadpool, whatever. But like, do we have to reboot with more? Like, do we want? Yeah, more? it's part of Phase six or something. I think I don't know how many phases oh, they have for Marvel. Yeah, they've already. I think they've already announced. Or I don't know. Maybe they did. They, I know they have Fantastic Four. We know that's coming. Yeah. Um, but Who did yeah, I just think is going to be Silver Surfer? Isn't it uh, the girl from the Crown? No. No, no, it's, it's, uh, no, it's not Kirby. Uh, what's her name? No, from uh, Ozarks. Ozarks with curly hair. Oh, oh, curly that's hair. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will fucking kill you. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Julia Gardner. Thank you, song. Yeah, Julia Gardner. Yeah. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't say that in the movie. That would be a little uh, totally. non Silver Surfer like. But that's fine. That's good. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I love Ozark. So, and she's great. That girl. I mean, I know. Again, she can act. She can act. She's an actress. Yes. Girl, she can transform herself. She can act. Put her, put her in stuff. Um, and, uh, Josh, real quick, there was a. It, it was taken down. I didn't even see it anyway. But there was a, a clip leaked from the wait, new season of the Bear. Oh, sorry. No, to uh, sorry. Not Austin says 
Kirby is Sue Storm. See, I wasn't far off. Oh, you're I, right. Good call, Josh. Good call. Yeah, you got it. You know what you're talking about. Josh knows his Marvel. He knows what's going on. He knows his Marvel I universe. Marvel. I thought that was DC. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know Fantastic Four is Marvel. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you a quick Fantastic Four story. Today, yeah, right? no, please, please, please. All right. So I was pretty uh, not shocking. This is definitely in my like late 20s. Uh, I was a little tipsy at a Christmas party and um, uh, what's her name? Jessica Alba was at this Christmas party. Okay. It was at this house in Malibu. It was like a friend of a friend. It was a, it was a big Christmas party. And um, I don't know, there was like 200 people there, like 100, 100 people. And it was this mansion in Malibu. It was awesome. So I'm all dressed up. I got like, I mean, I have this plaid suit on. I mean, I am, and it's got karaoke. We're crushing karaoke. I was, I mean, it was fun. I, I, it was great. Anyway, Jessica Alba's there and I see it and we're, we're like waiting by the bar and she's like, I had to come over and just tell you your suit and your energy is just hilarious. I was like, amazing. I could say the same thing about your performance in Fantastic Four. And she did not think that was funny at yeah. all. That, that wasn't received well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. I just like, it just kind of came yeah. out. You weren't trying to be. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't trying. I was like being like, I could say the same thing about your performance in Fantastic Four, like great movies. And she thought she like could she couldn't tell if I was joking or not. And she was like, yeah, okay, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. just walked away. That was like, it. Yeah. You know. Uh, Josh, we're gonna come full circle with Jessica Alba thing. Yeah. Not quite full circle. Um, my wife uh, Michelle went to school where Jessica Alba went to school. Same high school, Laverne. Uh, Laverne, Laverne, right next to San Dimas and Glendor yeah. out here. Laverne. And I've actually, I've actually met Alba's brother. We were at a a wine walk in Laverne, Laverne wine walk. And we talked, this guy came up and taught her talking to Michelle. They knew each other. I was like, who's that guy? He's like, Oh, that's Jessica Alba's brother. I was like, not that that means anything, but I was like, Oh, it's small town. Small Is his town. name Alan, Alan Alba. Oh, I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen, I only saw him that one time. If I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Is that, was, was he there at the party? He probably was at a party. Oh, you're just being funny. Oh, you're being funny. I was looking him up. I'm looking up for Alan Alba. Like some picture of an old guy on LinkedIn came up. I'm like, nope, that's not him. That is not the Alan I saw. I do not know his name. But yeah, anyway. Yes. Celebrity sightings and. Jerry Small Miller town. brings up a point. You can critique her in LA's finest on Spectrum. LOL. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. That, that was, that was the bad boys. It's been not, off. it's not terrible. I mean, really? it, okay. it's terrible, but it's not like terrible. You Is it I mean? apples never fall terrible? No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Nothing is that bad. Nothing. It. I mean, David, David, on on the Mount Rushmore of like shows that you and I have watched whilst doing this show, I will put Apples Never Fall next to Iron Fist. Wow. And Supergirl. I will put those Ooh. all next to each other. I will Man. put them. I don't know what the fourth one is. I haven't wow. really gotten to that point. But I have never finished watching a show and thought to myself, what in the actual was Peacock thinking when they paid all of these actors and actresses this much money? Because guess what? Like Jake Lacey is also like sort of a name. Yeah. Allison yeah. Brie is a name. Yeah. Everybody else I've never seen before besides Sam Neill and Annette Benning. The other well, character, I, I saw I Annette Benning was an EP. I wonder if like maybe it's like a Reese Witherspoon book club. Maybe she loved the book. She's like, you know, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you know me. I'm Annette Benning. You guys give me some money and let's just make uh, this show. Like, what, what, what do you think? They're probably like, yeah, why not? Why not? And again, Nyad was amazing. If I had not just seen Nyad, I might like this a smidge more, a smidge more. Hmm. But like, David, come on. I mean, I didn't hate it. I, I can't say like I loved it and it's must watch TV, but I, I didn't hate it. It was for me watchable. Very David, watchable. David. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw this out there. <laughs> she is pronounced missing. She is national news. Her face is everywhere. Television, the internet. She goes to a like sort of small town in Florida. And then she goes to a bar and does karaoke and like interacts with people. You're telling me that all those old people in Florida who live by their TV in local news don't recognize her? Are you, really? Really? Well, Josh, j just to just to throw a little, mm. uh, just to add a little something. She was in the mountains of Georgia. Oh, mountains of Georgia. And okay. Michelle Not looked at me and she said, "Are there mountains in Georgia? Like, there's hills. It's not the Rocky. Because I mean, we're in California. We have the yeah. you know Sierra Madres. I'm like, it's not." 
mountains. It's, it's hills of Georgia. It was called the hills of Georgia. I mean, they're mountains. It's I guess part, it's part of the end of the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, it's but it's it's not the Rockies, but, but the I get it. Yeah. Like I think the highest peak in the Appalachians is it's like not. six thousand feet, right? Yeah, so. I mean, where I lived in Western New York, the Appalachian Trail went through yeah. there, but it was more like it was some hills, some some humps, some big some hills. Humps. Some humps, yeah. Some big steep hills. Humps. Yeah, I got some But humps. when you go to Aspen, Colorado, or no. like Reckon, you going see going like 13,000 feet in the air. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. yeah. But yes, not uh, the best show. Folks, if you learn anything from this episode of TV Talk, uh, stay away from Apple's Never Fall. Ignore David's watchable advice. Be like, why am I watching this? Don't yeah. ignore me. Ignore me. Yep. Listen to Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Josh, there are a lot of shows, Josh. A lot of shows. Tons of shows. Tons of shows. Um, okay. What do you want to start with? I guess we start with Curb. I mean, that, that was last. Well, yeah. maybe should we end? I, don't, I guess you have to do like, you can't talk about Curb last night's Curb finale without going into spoilers. So maybe a little, you know, got to spoil Got to talk a little bit about no, it. Let's talk on the surface about it. Let's just on talk the surface? About okay. It. Okay. Okay. It was a redemptive episode yes. because Larry David stands by the, the Seinfeld finale. He stands by it. Right. And they've been hinting at it throughout the season. Like you a woman coming from a mile away. Yeah. Coming, yeah. Saw it coming from a mile away. Uh does it does it mean I didn't like it? No, I liked the Seinfeld finale. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it was Larry David sticking it to everybody that has watched that show since 2001 right yeah long something, time. Like that. something like that to be like i can do whatever the i want i have earned this right to do the seinfeld finale again and we got it <laughs> yeah what do you think what do you think i like i think there was a time like when we were in the the courtroom scene they were kind of doing the beats and i realized what was going on i'm like oh I think for a minute it took me out of it for a second, but then I think again, sorry, spoilers for the Kirby enthusiasm finale. Um, once like Jerry shows up and then I'm like, okay, you know, I was like, Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, we knew that was coming again. They've been hinting at it, but I don't know. I, when I got to the end and then I, I, I got up this morning, there was a bunch of articles about how Larry, like, you know, uh, you know, redeemed the finale of the Seinfeld finale. I, I got what he was doing and I, I appreciated it more. I I, I want to go back and actually watch it again. I think it kind of, yeah. it took me out of it for a second when I'm like, wait, they're just doing, uh, and then, but it took me a second to kind of realize what was going on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like he said on Rich Eisen, uh, he like, he's not sentimental, you know, he doesn't get nostalgic. Right. Uh, that's not his style. I think he does what he wants to do. And yeah. He did his episode and it was, I mean, listen, it's funny. It's you're, you weren't on with shows like that. There's no like arc that can wrap up a show that can like, no. that does anything, but like make you giggle. And especially in comedy. You know, Josh, you made a good point. I read something else today. It was an old interview. Somebody had put it in an article, just referencing the finale from last night. Yeah. And it was an old thing that Jason Alexander said. And he, you know, he wasn't a huge fan of the Seinfeld finale either. And for those who know, Jason Alexander, um, played you know, George. played George Costanza. But he was saying that, you know, for a lot of people at that time, the studio wanted us to go big. And in comedy, you can't go big. Like comedy isn't, it's not going to be, there's no battle of the bastards in comedy. Like, it's not about that. Like it's not an hour and a half long epic. Like, so I think they tried to go big and it's like, you just need to do like a small, funny episode. Like it's not about going big. So I, I, I appreciated it more. Uh, you yeah. know, just hearing that insight. Yeah. I, I, I liked it. I, I love the show, Josh. I'm going to miss it. Oh. I'm sad it's gone. I'm I know. I feel gone. like I need a, I'm not going to go back from the beginning because I will say the beginning is hard to watch because of how bad the cameras are. So, like watching those old clips, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks like a home video. It does. But they like, were shooting those like, on those old HVXs. Is what yeah, they were shooting like, them on. Oh man, yeah. that was rough. Yeah. Because they weren't going to shoot them on film because of the improv nature of the show. It was too expensive. Yeah. So yeah. HBO said, all right, well, we'll shoot them on this new technology, which was basically like the precursor to HD. It was like, right. it was, the, it was those Sony HVXs that they like maxed out that like Michael Mann was sort of making famous while shooting digital and film at the same time. Right. But because it's, it, it looks like early YouTube sketches is what it looks like. Yeah. So, it's like, it's like that, uh, because Michael Mann did that with Miami vice with yes. Colin, speaking of Colin Farrell, like we're gonna talk about him a little bit later, but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, Jeremy Miller, 120 episodes. That's pretty good for a comedy that's a show that started in the early yeah. 2000s. Yeah, yeah basically all- a season every other year, right? Yeah. I think he took like a six year break in between or something like that. But um, I mean, just what a great run. I mean, the show is just, it's just, it's about him. It's a fictionalized alter ego of him, but it's Larry David, a guy who made a ton of money after Seinfeld selling the rights. And he's just sitting around in LA with nothing to do, just terrorizing everyone in LA. So it's, yeah, yeah, love it. It's great. It's great. Cause he's George. Larry David is George Costanza. On he stage, George. He, he's George to the max. You know, he's yes. George on caffeine, everything, yes. right? Yes. Um, but man, yeah, I, I'll miss that show for sure. I think um, I did get a little nostalgic, a little sad that it was over because it's something that you miss ish when it's gone, but when it's mm. there, you realize how much you missed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. when new seasons come out, you're like, oh, appointment viewing, new curb. What, you know, what's he going to do this time? And then, when it's gone, you're like, oh, let me, I needed a little curb void. And then you ramp up for the next curb season because he creates social things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he create like, just like Seinfeld did with like close talkers and man hands and all that kind of stuff is Larry David did the same thing with, with, with curb. Um, and we just won't get that anymore. And it's a shame because, well, I mean, the biggest shame is that comedy minds like his, uh, Everybody that will try to do something Larry David like, they will get compared to Larry David and they will get destroyed. And that's a shame, right? Like yeah. that's kind of a bummer because there are other great comedic minds out there and they want to do like a curb like show, but they're not Larry David. And so this is like a once in a lifetime, maybe once in an ever generational kind of talent that is not going to be anymore. And the crazy part is when Larry David has tried to go out and do something that isn't either Curb or Seinfeld. It's not good. Mm -hmm. Like he did that stupid Woody Allen movie that was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. He did that HBO movie that was like a spoof on the Prius that was really bad. You know, I mean, it's. Yeah, I wouldn't call Larry David. He's not a. I don't think he wants to be or has any claim to be. He's not a versatile actor. Like he does kind of one thing and like. It's crazy, but he found it. Like, that's his niche. He yep. did something for 12 seasons. Like, they're saying, uh, Jeremy was saying 120 episodes, you know, for 20 years. I mean, that's, he found his niche and he's been super successful at it. It's really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. But yeah, it's a shame. But I mean, I think it ended on a high note. He went out the way he wanted to go out. And, totally. yep. you know, yeah, it's but it's, that, that's the end of Curb. That's it. End of Curb. End of Curb. Josh, another show um, that ended uh, over the last week or so was Tokyo Vice. It, no, okay, so is that the series finale? No, no not well. We don't know yet. Um, okay. I guess the um, no. So is it, I, it feels the ending. Well, don't worry, I won't talk too many spoilers. If anybody's still catching up here, the ending felt like if they ended it there, I'm pr- happy with. It. Like that was a great ending. They totally. wrapped up yeah. both the arc from season one. I'm good. But the showrunner has said that he is mapping out a season three in his head. Now he hasn't, hasn't been renewed yet, but he has an idea for a season three, but what okay. a great second season. I love this season. The whole season was a ticking clock. Yeah. Like this is, awesome. this show is going to be hard, even though I know it's still early in the year to knock out of like, if we do, we do a top 10 at the end of the year. I feel like Tokyo vice season two already has a spot uh, in that top 10. I almost feel like because nobody talks about it, that like you and I are watching something that like nobody else watches and it doesn't make any sense to me because it's, I mean, man, be, again, besides Ansel Elgort, it's like this thing, it's awesome. It's yes. awesome. Watanabe's incredible. The storyline's amazing. The, I mean, the female characters in that show mm-hmm. across the board are yeah. powerhouses. Yeah houses and in a country that like loves to put women down right like mm-hmm. historically have put women in their place i mean it's like the whole thing is shogun is, yeah. is how, how poorly the women were treated and i didn't realize I, mean, I should have seen this coming but i love how much sato's story mirrors if i can use this reference you know godfather michael corleone he's the reluctant leader he didn't want to be here. He didn't want to go into life of business. His mom didn't want him to get into this life of, 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 of crime and do something right. else. And, but he, 
is like the, 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 and the savior in a way. And like the, all this, the ceremony at the end and the way that was done, it just kind of reminded me, give me those Godfather vibes of Michael stepping in. Like, it's not what I want, but I've come into this position. I'm good at it. And people respect me. And like his story, Sato is one of the more, I know it's like Adelstein and what he's doing, but I, I love Sato's story. It might be my favorite uh, series so far. I love it. The cool only, character. The only guy I recognized uh, out, you know, outside of the main people is the Akira dude. Who was like the guy that stole all her money in season one. He was the oh, son yeah. in drops of God. Oh, see, I, he, he, I, didn't, I never watched that. He, that was the Apple show. Yeah. He told me about that. Yeah. Um, but man, it was, uh, ah, just sign me. Up. I mean, again, if that's how it ends, two seasons of almost perfect TV, Yes. Hazen Pena wants me to do a Jake Adelstein impression. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Oh, Tozawa's got to go down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, man, yeah, just because there was a door left open for a possible other season, right? But Yeah, yeah, and, and song, I think it was Songbird or someone here made a good point. Yeah, that's the article I read. So, uh, the showrunner did say there he has something mapped out. He's ready to go if and when Max Warner Brothers uh, renews it. But we'll see if that happens. I hope yeah. it does. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing more, but if it doesn't, what a great two seasons. And the story awesome. wrapped up nicely. So totally. Totally. another another recommendation. Josh, I, I had to make a confession. Leo is talking about uh, Shogun. I didn't put it in the rundown, to be honest. I didn't look at what episode. I went ahead about two weeks ago and just finished the whole thing. Oh no. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know. So I don't want to say anything because I don't want to, I, I need to like go through the episode again and see what happens. So if there's something you want to say about the episode, Josh, please say it. I don't want to, cause I, I got the screeners and I got to a point where it's like, I just want to know how this ends. And I finished it. Yeah. So, but know. do you remember what you happened? I don't remember what happened in episode seven with that Shogun last scene screamed in horror. I don't know what happened in episode. What ep are they on episode seven now? I think, I think so. Screamed in horror. Uh, Wiley Ansel didn't get canceled. I mean, I think he, so he did. Um, there were some accusations that came out, but he was never, there was never any court thing or oh, anything. Oh, oh, but, oh, Leo, oh, shit. Sorry, you're right. I'm, I'm thinking like, got it. I, I watched it like five days ago, but yes, I did yell. So, I David, can't remember. Yes, what happened in episode seven? Because remember, the brother is trying to like, yes brother is turns on his own brother classic story whatever and then the son because he's never been in battle and all he wants to do is be in battle he goes to try and like redeem his father and remember what happens when the son oh yeah yes 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 yes, yes. so okay. yes leo yes. yes yes uh man oh yeah he, he slipped yes the slip oh my gosh yeah that was i was like oh my i'm like what happened like i did not yeah. see the slip coming of all the things to happen in that scene yeah that was shocking yes yes that was a yeah. shocking yeah. scene yes yep. he slipped thank you thank you yes. thank you thank you yes. um the shogun but, is good ne next week next time we do this i'll i want to go back especially when we talk about the finale i'm going to go back and rewatch it so we can talk about that is there only eight episodes uh nine? Oh, there's nine okay all right nine ten nine eight nine eight eight no eight sorry eight eight so this Eight. week is the finale. Okay. okay. Oh, it is. Yeah, this is the finale. Okay, great. So I'll, I'll go back and uh, I'll go back and watch it, and we can talk about it um, in a couple of weeks. Talk about the finale. Uh, I thought it was ten. I thought it was ten. Why am I? I don't know. B House says ten. It's a ten episode. Yeah, oh, you're probably right. You're probably right. Okay. But I got to a point like episode five. I'm like, I, I need to know what happens. Like, I just yeah, I, wanted, week, I wanted to finish it. Jesus Pena is right. This week's episode is called Crimson Sky. Wait so, a minute. Somebody need to go on. I am some confirm that. I feel like Shogun. Is it eight? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the FX usually does 10, but I thought it was 10. Different with Shogun. It's 10. It's 10. Okay. All right. It's All right. So we got three more to go. Oh, you know why? Because you know why, guys? Because they did two episodes at the premiere. So that might be throwing people off. Yeah. Got but it. the 10th episode is called A Dream of a Dream. It's not a spoiler or anything. It's just called The Dream of a Dream. So this episode coming up is nine. So Crimson Sky is nine. Ten is a dream of the dream on April 23rd. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All, so yeah. So two weeks from now. Yeah. Samsonite. I was way off. All right. Yeah. Samsonite. But it um, seems like nine because they did two episodes on the first, uh, on the first yeah. night. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, uh, great show. The last few episodes, I will say the last couple have been slow ish or you, as you would say, deliberately paced. Um, 
And I wish that there was more of Marika. Marika. Yeah. Mariko. Mariko. Maria. Mariko. Or her, 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 her Christian name would be Maria, but yeah, Mariko. Yeah. I, I mean, give her her own show or I don't know, just more yeah. of her. I love her. Yeah. I told I you she was on that Gods of uh, Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla show, which uh, yeah. it's fine. It's fine show. But I was like, who is this girl? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, she's in show. Maybe. So uh, maybe I'll just watch that show I mean, then. The Godzilla show doesn't push her acting abilities as much as she, she's a lot better. I mean, I, the Godzilla show is fun. Um, but I mean, she's doing some great stuff in Shogun. So I'm, I'm, maybe I'm she should. Maybe yeah, she should do the Japanese reboot of Apples Never Fall. Oh, good lord! <laughs> she could be who would she? Would she be the Allison Brie character or yes. the you know, no the hippie? No, <laughs> she'd have to be redeemable, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe she'd be. Maybe she'd be Savannah. Oh, ooh, okay. Oh. Little switch. There. See, you know, Josh, we don't like, or he didn't like apples fall from the apples fall, apples never fall, whatever it's called, but we're still yeah. talking about it. So, we're well, still talking about it. Peacock, back, Peacock one. That's a winner Peacock for Peacock. One. one. All right. What else we got? What's going on? Uh, Josh, else? there's okay. Did you check out Sugar? Did you get a I chance? Did. Yes. I did. So, what did you think about uh, Mr. Uh, what would you think about the our, our Bosch S okay. kind of show? What do you it's think? Very, it's okay. He's basically Humphrey Bogart. He's Humphrey Bogart, yes, basically. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It's very film noir. I mean, very 50s. I mean, on the nose, like hammering it. Like, we, even with the, yeah. the snap zooms and all that stuff, right? Which can be distracting. I will say that. It can you, be distracting. You think the, the, the cuts to like the old films with Bogart and all those guys? It, it's a little, bit. a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Okay. But. I love Colin Farrell in this role. Yeah. He's awesome. Just like, I mean, nice guy does the things. Oh, I mean, so far, right. I mean, I don't know if there's a thing that he switches and we don't like him anymore. God, I hope not. But um, I love this kind of stuff. It has like the black Dahlia feel, but in modern times, it has yeah. hella confidential feel in modern yeah. times. Um, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with it again. I think Amanda was thrown off by the film noirish stuff, but now she yeah. likes it. Like she's gotten mm -hmm. into it. Right. Um, but uh, I think the first, what do we, did they release two episodes or just the one? I think they did two. Two. They did two. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we haven't started the second episode, but I love the mm -hmm. first one. Um, it's like the new Amanda and I have like, you know, now we have another show to watch because I thought, that like after Kurt, like when, when regime started, I thought that would be a show we would both yeah. like. And that show is, I mean, same. Well, I, I got out of regime. Yeah, I'm, out. I'm not going to put that on my Mount Rushmore. Cause I didn't even give it the time of day to suffer through the whole show, but it's bad. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's objectively bad. Yeah. Um, but, but sugar uh, is not sugar is, is, is very entertaining. I, I, I just love, he, he just embodies like a man out of time. He yeah. just does it like he's got the suit. He's got the old Stingray, the Corvette. You know, he's just I love that old Corvette. I, I love yeah. it. I, I love it. And it's such a good Hollywood story. Like he's investigating this Siegel family, this very rich, powerful producer, yeah. director family in Hollywood. And they're the 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 uh, patriarch's granddaughter goes missing. They want to uh -huh. find her. It's just, it's just yeah. a cool premise. It's a cool premise. It has cool like, premise. And you yeah. can add like a John Paul Getty feel to it. Yeah, right? that's it. Yeah, like Getty. That's right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yes. I, yeah I'm uh, I'm all in on on sugar sign me again apple tv yeah. does good shows they do they do they, do. they, they really they do. do and even and even when they're like oh josh we, we know paul morial we didn't love paul morial i know both you and i both got it yeah. but even when they don't do a good show they stack the cast so much Ooh. like it's just kind of nice to see oh look there's Chris and Wig and Alice and Jenny and Ricky Martin. It's like you can just you know, even if it's not the best show, it's still I think that Palm Real just wasn't made for us, David. I think Palm Real really. was made for like my mom's generation. Yeah. You yeah. know? Because that's yeah. one of those shows I'm like, oh, this is a show Michelle and I can watch. And even she just didn't really get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Goopy G says, Man, I'm really gonna miss Curb. I know. Us too. Us too. Really, really gonna miss mm -hmm. Curb. All right, what other shows we got? We're gonna wrap right. up. Here. So, okay. Oh yeah. Sorry. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, I'll just go through these really oh. quick. Uh, Fallout just, comes this week. Say wow. what? Fallout is this week. Yeah, Fallout is this week. Yeah, Let's it's go. the eleventh. Yeah, the eleventh. Fallout's coming out. Uh, that was gonna be spoiler. It's my pick of the week. Uh, I was gonna Ooh, tell everybody okay. to, it's to, to watch to Fallout. That's okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Um, I, I have some other shows too. Uh, okay. real quick, Josh, I will go. Josh, you like historical dramas? We were the lucky ones. You got Joey King. Um, oh, Joey King is in that. that. 
it's good. It's on Hulu. It's a Hulu. Okay. Well, or, Josh, if you have Disney Plus, you can watch Hulu and Disney Plus are now nice. merged, okay. so you can watch nice. that. Um, it's a story Hulu? about. Uh, you, know? I, you might have to have. Uh, you may have to have a bundle. I have a I have a subscription to both, so it just kind of okay. seamlessly works. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You have to check that out. Okay. Okay. But we're the lucky ones. Quick synopsis: uh, a, a Polish, uh, a Jewish family from Poland. They get scattered during World War II. They're all over the place. I've never read the book. <clears throat> it's called okay. We Were the Lucky Ones. I assume they survive. I don't know. I haven't read the book, but it's okay. good so far. Uh, a gentleman in Moscow, Josh, free episode on Apple TV via Paramount. It's free. Okay. Check that out. Uh, great show. Parish. Josh, that's up your alley. I think you'll dig yep. Paris. Giancarlo Esposito. Ripley. Josh, do not watch that. I liked it, but Josh, no. Uh, just okay. stay away from that. Uh, okay. Mary and George. Josh, okay. this is a this is a pure David show. This is Julianne Moore, Josh. A Oscar Ooh. winner, Ooh. Julianne Moore. Ooh. And a British doing a British act. Is she British? No. No. Or is she? No, she's, she's not. She's American. Doing she's a British American. accent. I think she's American. Oh. Yeah, but she has, she has a good accent. Okay. Um, do an historical epic. It's around the time of King James the uh, first. It, it, it's very good. It's juicy. It's a lot of okay. sexy and it, it's, it's, it's stars. It's typical star stuff anyway. Uh, and then my sci-fi show beacon 23 with Lena Hetty has come back and um, it, it, it's good. It's on MGM plus good sci-fi show. So I yeah. started this three body problem that you told me to watch a couple weeks ago. I'm like, are you two? into it? I'm like two episodes in. Oh. It's not bad. I don't. I don't know what's what? going on, but it's not bad. Okay. I thought that would be a stay away show. Okay. No, it wasn't okay. terrible. I, I like right. it. I, I mean, I like the cast. Uh, I okay. think the the girl that does the nanotechnology, the really pretty one. I yeah. She's a little. She's a little like eh, for me. But I like uh, the Asian girl's really awesome and the the. Um, <laughs> The dude that played uh the dude from uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is yeah. good. <laughs> Black dude's really good. I like the cast. Black dude is good. He's good. He's good. Oh, good. They're great. It's a great cast. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in it? I don't know. That's, I don't that's know. good. No. I'm just no, kidding. No, you're right. Yeah. They went, you know, and, yeah. and, and, they, and they got the other guy from Game of Thrones, and they got uh, the dude from Doctor Strange. I mean, it's a good cast. Yeah, I, I need to get back into it. Josh, apparently people keep saying that something happens in episode three that's really good. Episode five is supposed to be bonkers. I, I need to get back into it. I only watched one, so okay. maybe that'll be my assignment. I'll try to finish that. We can talk about yeah. okay. the, the, the end. I think it's only like six episodes. I don't think it's Oh, that okay. Long, okay. I think. I think. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do a uh, pick of the week. David! I can't go higher because I love it. That's all right. I don't want you to hear your voice. Pick of the week. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Fallout. Fallout's coming out. Folks, Walton Goggins is about to be back on your screen on Prime Video on April 11th. It's very exciting. Um, yes, uh, watch Fallout. Check it out. Okay. Um, my pick of the week will be Apples Never Fall. And here's why. Okay. To tell you straight up why you can pick the apples you off the tree. You need to watch this terrible show and tell me if I'm right or if I'm more right. Like there is no I'm wrong. This show is objectively horrendous. Okay. I want you to come in and tell me how bad it is. In two weeks, when David and I come back in two weeks, I want you to come in here and just tell me, God, was that show fing brutal? And I will say, Yes, it was. So thank you. David, I call I call it watchable. It's watchable. <laughs> it's watchable. You know what else is watchable? Traffic. That's watchable. We can watch anything. This wasn't even ingestible. Sorry. I, I, I was surprised, Josh. Your pick of the week was not going to be the Masters. This is Masters week. Apparently, Tiger oh, Woods has abstained from sex to prepare for the Masters. He has not had sex. I don't know for how long, but that is what that's what the rumors are saying. So that's maybe that means something. Maybe this is the key. Maybe for him I to get another green jacket. I can finally lower my handicap. There you go. Just just give it a timetable. Talk to Amanda about it. I'm sure you guys will be fine. That's great. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I uh huge week. I will be glued to the television nonstop golf channel through the weekend. Yeah. Uh, tune in to Fan Controlled Sports. You get live picks, polls, everything the whole time. Um, and uh, as always, uh, you know, call somebody, text them, tell them you love them. It matters. It's where you love the hate, find the good. Put down the book. Pick up the remote. I'm ending the stream now, David. Goodbye. Bye.